My name is John Meter. I'm a photographer, and this is my photograph, which I call Oops. <laughs> it's a picture of an osprey dropping a fish. So it sounds very exciting, doesn't it? <laughs> this was taken about a year ago. Uh, in the spring every year when the alewives come up the Sebastopol, now that they've taken the dam out, uh, the alewives are these little fish that migrate up to fresh waters to breed. They lay their eggs and then they die. And the eagles and the ospreys just love them. And so last Memorial Day weekend, there were 48 eagles over by Benton Falls on the Sebastopol. So I never miss an opportunity, if I can help it, to take pictures, just ask my wife. And uh, I went over there to shoot eagles, and I shot 700 pictures of eagles. And there were a handful of ospreys too, and I shot a, a couple hundred pictures of the ospreys. And I saw this guy go down and grab two alewives. You know, you know, typical American bird, right? Gonna have twice as many. So he goes out and grabs two and starts taking And I've got these pictures of him taking off, struggling with these two fish. And he gets up about as high as the ceiling, and, and he loses one, because the bird, the fish, clearly does not like being up there. But the fact is, I'd like to say that I saw it falling, and I, you know, I snapped it. I didn't. I didn't even see that it dropped. I just was taking pictures. I saw him take off with two birds. I said, take pictures, 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 pictures. And he turns and goes off, and then I go to the next bird I see, and I just keep shooting pictures. I get home to go through my 900 pictures of birds. <laughs> and luckily you do that, and you realize you shot 900 pictures of birds, and 350 of them, you just can throw them away, you know, because they're not in focus, or it's weird or something. Then you're down to 600 pictures of birds. And there's a whole bunch of pictures that are okay, but you could really throw like half those away too. Then you get down to maybe 40 or 50 pictures that, well, that's kind of interesting. The th problem with photography these days is that everyone, how many, pictures, how many cameras are in this room right now? I mean, your phones are better cameras than most of our parents had. Um, and if you want to think you're going to be a great photographer, which I like to think I'm a good photographer, all you got to do is go on Flickr and realize, why do I take pictures? No matter what you take a picture of, you can find a thousand pictures of the same thing that are better than anything I've ever shot. And so you have to have a reason to take pictures. And I like taking pictures. I like the process, like the head I have to get into in my brain to take a good picture and try to, the process of getting it. If I capture a good image like this one, then I, that's like gravy. This is like, this is really fun because I get to talk to you folks about my photography, which I love to do. And you can tell me when to stop, so I'll just keep on going. <laughs> But uh, I, I like the process, and it's fun to be in the presence of 50 eagles and 25 ospreys and spend a couple of hours with them taking pictures. And then I spend the evening, or a couple of evenings, just ask Laura, um, at my computer sitting there playing with pictures to get the ones, to get down to the one or two that I really think are something a little more special. Because what I really want is, you know, you see lots of great, great pictures, and I'm not meaning to demean them in any, but there are lots of pictures of ospreys with fish. I got a whole bunch of them myself. And they're cool pictures and they're great pictures, they're sharp. But you know, I'm always trying to look for something that has a little something different. Well, how can you be original when everyone's taking pictures of whatever you take pictures of? And so you look for that that decisive moment, it's that Katia Gresson moment of you're in the moment. If you took it a second later or a second before it doesn't come out, but you take it at the right moment and you capture something special. And that's what I feel like. I was lucky to do, and this was really serendipitous that I caught this, because I didn't even know it when I shot the picture. Thank you, John.